if you're reading this, it means that I've committed suicide and obviously failed to delete this post from my queue. Please don't be sad. It's for the better. The life I would have lived isn't worth living in because I'm transgender. I could go into detail explaining why I feel that way, but this note is probably going to be lengthy enough as it is. To put it simply, I feel like a girl trapped in a boy's body. I felt, and I felt that way ever since I was four. I never knew there was a word for that feeling, nor was it possible for a boy to become a girl, so I never told anyone, and just continued to do traditionally boyish things to try to fit in. When I was 14, I learned what transgender meant, and cried of happiness. After 10 years of confusion, I finally understood who I was. I immediately told my mom, and she reacted extremely negatively, telling me that it was a phase, that I would never truly be a girl, that God doesn't make mistakes, and that I'm wrong. If you are reading this, parents, please don't ever tell this to your kids. Even if you are Christian or against transgender people, don't ever say that to someone, especially your own kid. That won't do anything but make them hate themselves. That's exactly what it did to me. My mom started taking me to a therapist, but would only take me to Christian therapists, who were all very biased. So I never actually got the therapy I needed to cure me of my depression. I only got more Christians telling me that I was selfish and wrong, and that I should look to God for help. When I was 16, I realized that my parents would never come around, that I would have to wait until I was 18 to start any sort of transition treatment, which absolutely broke my heart. The longer you wait, the harder it is to transition. I felt hopeless, that I was just going to look like a man and drag for the rest of my life. On my 16th birthday, when I didn't receive consent from my parents to start transitioning, I cried myself to sleep. I formed a sort of fuck you attitude toward my parents and came out as gay at school, thinking that maybe if I eased into coming out as trans, it would be less of a shock. Although the reaction from my friends was positive, my parents were pissed. They felt like I was attacking their image and that I was an embarrassment to them. They wanted me to be their perfect little straight Christian boy, and that's obviously not what I wanted. So they took me out of public school, took away my laptop and phone, and forbid me from getting on any sort of social media, completely isolating me from my friends. This was probably the part of my life where I was most depressed, and I'm surprised I didn't kill myself. I was completely alone for five months. No friends, no support, no love. Just my parents' disappointment and the cruelty of loneliness. At the end of the school year, my parents finally came around and gave me my phone and let me back on social media. I was excited. I finally had my friends back. They were extremely excited to see me and talk to me, but only at first. Eventually, they realized they didn't actually give a shit about me, and I felt even lonelier than I did before. The only friends I thought I had only liked me because they saw me five times a week. After a summer of having almost no friends, plus the weight of having to think about college, save money for moving out, keep my grades up, go to church each week, and feel like shit because everyone there is against everything I live for, I've decided I've had enough. I'm never going to transition successfully even when I move out. I'm never going to be happy with the way I look or sound. I'm never going to have enough friends to satisfy me. I'm never going to have enough love to satisfy me. I'm never going to find a man who loves me. I'm never going to be happy. Either I live the rest of my life as a lonely man who wishes he were a woman, or I live my life as a lonelier woman who hates herself. There's no winning. There's no way out. I'm sad enough already. I don't need my life to get any worse. People say it gets better, but that isn't true in my case. It gets worse. Each day, I get worse. That's the gist of it. That's why I feel like killing myself. Sorry if that's not a good enough reason for you. It's good enough for me. As for my will, I want 100% of the things that I legally own to be sold and the money, plus my money in the bank, to be given to trans civil rights movements and support groups. I don't give a shit which one. The only way I will rest in peace is if one day transgender people aren't treated the way I was. They're treated like humans, with valid feelings and human rights. Gender needs to be taught about in schools. The earlier the better. My death needs to mean something. My death needs to be counted in the number of transgender people who commit suicide this year. I want someone to look at that number and say that's fucked up. Fix it. Fix society, please. Goodbye. Sincerely, Leela Alcorn. The dreadful, painful, and horrible loss of the daughter her parents didn't want to know. Be good to each other.